and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. So this is way better than stretching. Ooh. So if you have not pain in the shoulders, upper traps, between the shoulder blades. If, all... we, ha if we have not pain, is that like we not have pain? Or we... No, that's a good, good point. <laughs> oh, K-N-O-T, yeah. not. Yeah. Pain from knots. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this this is going to help you way better than any stretches you could do. Yeah. And what's nice about this, you can do it without spending money. Yeah, it's it's a, just time and a, a little effort. It feels good. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a sec second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. This week, we are giving away a booyah stick. Oh, booyah! <laughs> we'll show it. Yeah. You want me to get it now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'll hold on the sign. You can also find it on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. And we have what, Brad? Podcast. Yeah. That's right. I almost forgot. Wow. I feel so much better when I have the booyah stick yeah, in my hand. I'm glad. You look strong like ball. <laughs> okay. So this is not a new concept. There's a lot of people who are in the know that recommend this. And, and we had a person who is an expert on stretching. Yeah agreed with us 100 percent that <laughs> it's so much better more effective than stretching is yeah. i don't know if he agreed with us or we agreed with him right i think we agreed with him <laughs> yeah. but uh kelly start who wrote the book supple leopard um talks about uh, giving an example here so if you're going to stretch a muscle and a lot of times with the muscles some of the, the muscle may be adhesed down or it may be yeah. thinner or maybe wider knotted well. up yeah so we're going to show a muscle here that actually is thinner at one point and thicker at another. That's not really a muscle. No, that's not a muscle, but it's a representation. Yeah. yeah. So when I stretch, look where most of the stretching mm. is occurring. In the thin spot, not so yeah. much here in the muscle belly, if you will. Right. So in other words, the stretching where I really need it in the thick spot is not even occurring. Right. So when you stretch. Don't let go yeah, of that. that it's going to uh, occur on the part that's probably stretched out already. Sure. So yeah. if you have a part that has kind of adhesed down, which the body does, the, the fascia, the fascia mm -hmm. it, it's not going to work. And so you have to do mobilization. And that's what we're going to show today. So we're going to mobilize that soft tissue, probably that, that thicker belly of the part of the muscle and, and get in there. I tell you, I've right. had... You can get to sp specific spots. Yeah, that's there you point. go. And I can... Like, with things you have around the house. Yeah, exactly. We're not going to make you go out buy anything. You or just, just go to your neighbors. They don't have it. Right. You you can, if the kid leaves the ball in your yard, don't throw it back to them. Just steal it. <laughs> so we got a couple of things here. We got a, a softball, which is pretty aggressive. This is probably for big muscles. I don't know if I'd use it on the knots up here. Yeah. That's, I've tried it, but with the towel, it's okay. We can maybe show okay, that later. Okay, with the towel. Uh, lacrosse ball. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, probably the least aggressive is a tennis ball. Sure. We got two tennis balls in the in the sock here. Yeah, uh, don't. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you a little, why we have in the sock in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, actually, the least aggressive would be a rolled up sock. Yeah. You know, you'll get some pressure. Oh. By yeah. You, you. It's amazing what you can do with your socks. So, what this is going to do? Not only is it going to work on the muscles, but it's going to work on your posture because uh. all of us have trouble with posture in this area here. We're all kind of flexed forward here. The best way to correct this is mobilization. I'm going sure. to tell you right now. So let's start off with the easiest one, Brad. I got to clear out my area here. What are we going to do with this rubber band model? No, we'll keep that because oh. we'll be using it yet. So not in this video, but uh, <laughs> I like that. Not, in, yeah. no pun intended. Yeah. So the first one you can start off with is just a rolled sock and put it in the area and you're just going to lie on it. You breathe. And raise your arms up overhead. So you're putting that sack right on the spine, right in the middle. Right. Oh, well, I'm going on the sides. You Brad. are okay. Yeah, good point, Brad. Well, Why let's don't I show let's, it on let's, you. Let's clarify for All right. our, our viewers. Let me take a colored ball here. Oh yeah, a green one. So here's the spine running right down the middle. Mm -hmm. We're trying to hit these areas up in here. You could actually hit the knots up here too, Brad. If sure. You're that. Yep. But we're gonna stay off the spine. So on the right side between the spine and the shoulder blade. One, two, three, yep. three different spots you can hit. 
four, five, six, six different spots. You can, you can go other side of the spine. Sure. Now you can all, like I said, you can also hit the upper traps. Um, I think we can show that. That works good on the wall too, with the with sure. the sock and the ball thing. And I would recommend that you're on the floor with the, with the sock, yeah. not on a bed. That's just not going to do anything. So you may have more than two socks, and you're going to roll them fairly tight. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So you know, be careful and be be mindful yeah. of that. And then if you tolerate that well, then you may try the lacrosse ball or. Um, now, lacrosse ball is very solid. It's, yeah. it's pretty firm. This is going to be too aggressive for a lot of people on the floor. It just is. And you, you can put oil across. Yeah, yeah is, you uh, can put a towel over it. Yeah. Oh. That, that'll soften it a little bit. Yep. Now, Bob's doing it on this soft bed, which yeah. you're not going to do. Right. Uh, but just so it's easier to film. So a towel, and they got four layers there. Yeah. But you can do whatever you need. It makes a big difference. I mean, if you're on the floor, you can start doing it. You can put a pillow underneath your head if that helps. You can take some of the pressure off too. But eventually, you want to get down where you're doing kind of a chin duck. And again, Raising the arm up, take a deep breath. Yep. Breathe in and relax. And then you're going to move it down. And, you know, Kelly Star recommends you stay in an area until it starts to improve. Sure. So if it's tender, you stay there. If it's not hurting, I won't even do it there, Brad. Sure. I mean, let's hit the spots that are tender. Right. Yep. Get right to the I'm point. I'm sure you got enough of them. So you're going to start with that. Brad's going to show against the wall. How you can also do that. Now, Kelly, what he recommends is he's got like three methods. I'm going to talk about two of them today. The smash method where mm. you just basically smash into the muscle yep. and you just, it's static. Sure. You just, you just lie on top of it. And that's what I was just doing. Brad's going to show the, what he calls the pressure wave. So he's rolling. The pressure is rolling yep. along. So, you know, if you just have a ball, you, you try to get it back there, get it in the right spot. And you, know, you can roll on it like this. It, and it works. works pretty good, yeah. Yep. But sometimes a ball falls down and right. it's hard to get there, depending on your flexibility. So <laughs> there's two balls in this sock. You might start with just one. Sure. There's a, sometimes it's nice to have two. You cover more area. So I'm going to go. I'm going to drop it to that right side where Bob was pointing out. And I'm going to go on there. And you can still get a little movement. A little better with one ball, but... Two is okay, too, and you can go the right two, to left. The two is actually, for a lot of times, people lie on it just for the smash method. They'll have one ball on the right side yep. of the spine and the other ball on the left side of the spine. So you can hit, oh. you just lie on it. So you can, it's a little more efficient. Yeah. You so the smash method, you make, like right there, I can feel it in that. You know, yep. It's not bad. I'm going to hit it, and I'm just going to yep. relax into it. I'm going to look at the clock, and usually, you know, after about 30 seconds, it's going to, you're going to feel it release. That knot is all tightened up and it's got all kinds of lactic acid in there because it's tightened. Then you get it to release. Circulation flows. It feels better. And then you're happy. Yep. Again, better than stretching. Um, it's funny. I, I'm, there's a lot of NBA players and professional athletes are buying into this now too. Yeah. And there was an NBA player who played for the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. And he used a basketball. Soft, yep, he used a sim, uh, a softball. He did. Yep, and yeah. he would throw his whole body. Yeah. He'd roll over. Yeah, and like you know, if you do this very long, you may start with the towel, but once you get used to it, right, you'll go down to to nothing probably, or just the ball itself. It's funny. I was just showing a friend this, and he used to be a marine. Yeah. Always had really good posture, but I noticed he's starting to drift over. And it was affecting his golf game. Oh, wow. Well, that's and that, not that right. was yeah. sacrilegious. So I, I was showing him this type of stretch. Sure. And I was like, well, you probably won't be able to tolerate the start. And he goes, oh, yeah. Yeah. He was like, he got right. yeah. And he's, he just uh, emailed me and said he just loves it. I oh, mean, really? So, yeah. Wow. You know, Marines, they love pain. Yeah. Oh, well, they're tough. Oh, I mean, hoo-yah, yeah. right? Isn't it hoo that What did they say? I'm not going it's not there, Bob. Yeah, I, it's, it's not for us to talk about, yeah. Bob. So he was using a lacrosse ball? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, because these are aggressive. Right. They bounce well, too. Yep. So All what's right. next? That's it, Brad. Oh, really? Yeah. We got through the whole works. Remember, Good job. Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for? A broken heart. Right, and these, this yeah, ball No, you don't want to roll on your heart. Yeah. That's yeah, just not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. That'll so. break a heart, probably. Oh, no. No, I don't think so, but it might. <laughs> well, it's... That's going to work. We got another video coming up. All right. Thanks.